you may recall the updates that I was dropping on Yellowstone in terms of the geyser eruptions because when these first started happening, they had not happened for some time. Then, they kept happening. Started to kind of die down a little bit. I think people started to forget about it. Then, it came back. Now, not only is it back, it's setting records. And the time frame, the intervals here between these eruptions are now getting shorter. And scientists are saying that they're perplexed. They're not quite sure what's going on here with this. Now, this is a super volcano. This is an amazing place. I've had the opportunity to go here to Yellowstone and, and see these geysers and these wonders in this park, the wildlife, the whole thing. It's, it's an amazing place. Really nothing like it on the planet. It's very unique. And at some point, it's going to blow. Hopefully not in our lifetimes. Just like I'm hoping the big one doesn't hit the New Madrid Fault or even California. But I think it's inevitable that one of the three is going to happen here within the next 20 years for sure. And I would lean toward a West Coast earthquake because the odds are greater there happening in that time frame over a New Madrid or an eruption from Yellowstone. But it's not just Yellowstone. There's other Long Valley Caldera and uh, Mount St. Helen volcanoes, you know, lurking out there as well. Mount Rainier's, Hoods, I mean, all over the place. There's other places that could spring to life and cause issues. But Yellowstone Geyser setting a record, and I wanted to make note of it. So I'm going to leave a link below. I will continue to update on Yellowstone as I come across more, as always. Make sure to follow me on Twitter for breaking news and also on DLive for exclusive live streams and content that you're only going to find there. Much love, y'all.